No way. How can a group of vets lose their gang of kids still in the throes of puberty? Oh, I think I know who you are now. There's a mercenary group called Bugbear made of wannabe Jaeger dropouts. That's you guys, right? I guess you were planning to start calling yourselves a real Jaeger Corps after you pulled off this big job, huh? How do you know about us? We got a shit. What the hell's up with this kid? That monster has got to kill us. Hey, don't you be calling Lammy a monster? Such meanies, aren't they, Lammy? They're not the only ones who've got some questions about her. They might have an idea, but let's see how this plays out. <laughs> I see now. You're one of the children, aren't you? The Silver Puppeteer, also known as the White Rabbit. Am I mistaken? Oh, wow! You've heard of me? I certainly have. And if you're here, this is a chance I simply cannot miss. I'd be pleased to punch your ticket along with everyone else's for a one-way journey to the Great Beyond. What is that song? Above us, watch out! at the face of the djinn from the legends? Whatever it is, it seems like it's made this quarry its lair. <laughs> Quite a hardy specimen we have here. To have survived from the times of antiquity is no small feat. No doubt its long slumber has left it with a powerful hunger. Do be sure to give it a proper meal, would you? Farewell then, and may your struggle be mercifully brief. Grappling hook? Help boss, please! I don't want to die! Help! Damn, there's no time to chase after him. We have more immediate problems. Right, and we can't just leave these soldiers to the mercy of this beast. Group A, prepare to engage. We need to stop that spider before it can harm anyone else. I right. don't! Watch out, this is a tough one! You're telling Here fucking me! I ain't the mother! Okay, there's that asshole in the... Oh god, this isn't gonna be easy. Um... I motivate everybody first. Alright, let's do this! Come on, folks, you can do this. Sucks to be you. Okay, stop it off, fuck, now I'm poisoned. Yes, sir! Yeah, that ain't fine. You wanna play the poison game, I'm gonna play the poison game. Motherfucking riot beep! Wait. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Uh, that's definitely not gonna work. Alright, fine. Bust her off, punch them all. Get him! Get him! I missed one of them, but I killed the other one. I can do this. Poison's a bitch. Can we cure that? Uh, no. No, we can't. Poison is indeed a bitch, and I'm screwed. Uh, Ooh, this works. Good. It's my turn. Sorry, beer lads. Try to kill as many minions at once as possible. To me! Ruben! Me well. Go ahead. I got you! Fuck. No, ah, poison! My turn! Alright, fine, 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 fine. Let's do this. 
really want that to work as a critical. Kind of did. It's bad. Huh? you are. Okay, I got rid of two. Go! And I thought the worry that was the critical coming soon. Now, if only I could think of how to deal with poison. I could use an item, but I've got that many of them, it might take a while. So, screw it, we'll just do this. Come on. Ah! My turn! Lame! Punch it really, really, really hard. Right, babe! Because technically there's another one behind it. Yep. Fire! Still not doing what I want to do. Poison strong. Right. Okay, let's do a Gale Stinger. I'll show you what I want to do once it lays me. If I can get it unbalanced. Stop it! If I can unbalance it and it not fucking summon yet more allies. You're out. Behind you. Alright, fine, just shoot it. Yep. If I can unbalance it, I can ambush it with everybody and that will kill all the minions at the same time. Damn it, no rage poison too! Voice crack was necessary. Okay, right, I've got them all here. Right now, so you're all gonna die. Or you're all gonna die. Okay, we'll just do this one. There. Eat this and let's just stack it or something. Yeah, I got most of these. Here I go! Where did Green go? Green, you still here, buddy? Yeah, you're fine. Go. Um punch it! Get him! Unbalance already! Damn it! Every bug is poisoned! Um, Gale Stinger! One of these will stack it! Good! Charge! What's up and down to do it for two minutes? Take that! So the upside is, because it keeps summoning his allies, it's only his one, huh? Because it keeps summoning allies, it's technically wasting its time. Which in CD means that it's not poisoning us again. Because it just have worn off. Kill these barrels, what's this? The allies aren't actually that strong. He fucking annoying with this, that then. Man, counter. He's gonna fucking poison me. Even the minions can fucking poison game! Here we go! Alright. I can have both of them from here, or I can have three of them from here, so go ahead. That worked really, really, really well. Is there anyone else back here? It was you, but yeah, we'll watch you again Um, Oh, the mid- that's bad here. Riot Beep! It's just fun to say. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, guys. Does turbulence hit both of these idiots? No. Shit. Um. Uh, okay, right. You just do Gale Stinger on the one that's closest to you. It's literally staring you in the face. Good job. Broken. I got you. Right. Okay. We can probably kill that one in one hand. So we'll do with this guy. Turn to flames. Burn. And this guy keeps correct. So go ahead. Yeah. My turn. Right, buddy, kill. Ha! That didn't work as intended. I pushed it off, but it missed. Counter? Go. No, I can kill enough. Ha! Ah. I can do this. All right. Burn alive. Turn to flames. I'm not good here. I can send one of the quartz on one of my allies. Like, it's my races. turn. Two. It's already on fire, isn't it? Get this. <laughs> There's a reason for this. If it ever gets a shot, yes, you'll see what I mean. Call your fucking ally. Call your fucking. I hope the fire burns you. It does. <laughs> Sad assumes in this game are OP. Dad. Ah, <laughs> don't mess with us. Booyah! Burning it alive. Work to three. So, da da. Even for me, that's some good experience.
<laughs> yeah, that was a toughie. True, but at least we neutralized the threat. Yeah, but unfortunately that man with the glasses got away. Yeah. Considering the situation, I don't believe there was much we could have done. So, what's it gonna be? You can make this easy on yourselves and surrender, or... Ah! Alright, but we demand our gar you guarantee our safety. Hmm. You're hardly in a position to demand anything. If our capture is enough to avert a war, then so be it. Anyway, let's contact my grandfather on our arcus. He should be able to get in touch with Zender Gate for us. Indeed, we have to let the Lieutenant General know that we've caught them. Hmm. I wonder if they'll make it in time. So, I have bad news. We contacted the Republican Army about the group we apprehended, but they're unconvinced that they were responsible. Mm, can't really say that I blame them. It sounds as though they sustained far greater damage than we did. Still, does that mean the Republican Army is preparing to attack? Unfortunately so. I believe one of their armored, division, armored airborne divisions has completed battle preparation. At this rate, an armed conflict may be inevitable. No. If only we could find a way to negotiate with them. Hmm... Did you manage to get anything out of those guys you captured? Like, who that guy in the glasses who ran off was? No, we know that they were paid very well, but we are kept largely in the dark about their client and objective. By the way, who are you? Oh, me? Yeah, just who are you anyway? The man in the glasses called you one of the children. I also remember something about the silver puppeteer and a white rabbit or something like that. Mm, very suspicious. Now, now. Hmm. Mm, what to do? What to do? I'm not really supposed to tell anyone about my affiliation. Yo, what? Affiliation? Wait, are you? You're probably dead on. Yay, you finally came! I thought you were never going to show up, Lexer. Sorry, sorry. I had some things to take care of over in Crossbell. So are now an office for those skatey people? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, who are you? Hmm, setting aside the lack of a uniform, I'm assuming you're also a member of the military? That's correct, sir. I'm Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. Imperial? I mean Imperial. Whoops. <laughs> I've come to assume the responsibility for the negotiations with the Republican Army. What? Intelligence Division? So you must be... Hmm, so you're Captain Lecter. If what I've heard is true, it sounds like the situation will be in good hands. Hmm, the negotiations with the Republican government are already underway. It'd be in all our best interests to avoid unnecessary conflict, especially with the trade conference only two months away. His Excellency the Chancellor is one of the is of the same opinion. I see. I should have known the Blood and Iron Chancellor's name would suffer sooner or later. That's the stance of the reformist faction leader. His face might make you wake up in a cold sweat, but he's pretty fun for an old guy, really. Anyway, just leave this to us. We'll have it sorted out in no time. Sounds like you've been taking good care of that little pipsqueak for us too. Cheers guys! Boo, I'm not a pipsqueak! Oh well, bye bye everyone! It was fun getting to know you all. Hope we can see each other again sometime. 
Wait, hold on! Wait a... Well, there they go. Isn't the intelligence division the branch of the Imperial Army is responsible for gathering and processing info? Hmm. They're not as uptight as their name suggests. Oh, sorry, they're not as upright as their name might suggest. They deal more in espionage than intelligence gatherings. The provincial armies fear them as much as they do the railway military police. They get as much. I just can't believe a child like her is part of the army. Hmm, I see. So she's one of the Iron Bloods. Sir? That's quite an imposing name. The Iron Bloods are said to be a group of youths with high intelligence and special abilities taken in by the Chancellor. They work with the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police, but they answer to him. Or so the rumors go, anyway. I wouldn't have dreamed the ranks ran quite as young as that girl looked, though. Hmm. Something seems suited to a life in the military squad. Yeah, there's something that doesn't feel right about it. Still, so, looks like maybe we may be yet so able to avoid a war with Calvert. Are you see this? I've heard many rumors about that Captain Lecter, Scarecrow, as he's known by some. I'm given to understand that he's succeeded in almost every unofficial negotiation he's ever undertaken. And if the Chancellor himself is taking action, success seems almost guaranteed. Third Armored Division, stand down to alert level 2. All their ships currently on patrol and to return to Zender gate at once. Yes. Precisely on time. Comrade G, you've done well. Comrade C, I wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. <laughs> Keep your pity to yourself. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome would work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ooh. 
boy. At least all's well that ends well, right? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? <laughs> you really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you could tell I was there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to... this one time... two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then, where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least, not in the official files. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like Rhineford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm. Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's all right. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up. Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. Thank you all for everything. I'm so glad for the kindness you've shown us. I'll never forget all the things I've seen and learned here. Indeed, I feel as though I've gained something truly invaluable. Hmm. <laughs> it makes me happy to hear that. Bro, read kisses. I. Ah. Come on, Lily, don't cry. Lily, Thoma, thanks for all you've done. You have my thanks as well. It was a pleasure meeting you. I'll return again when I have the opportunity. Until then, you've got to take care of everyone here for me, Stoma. Leave it to me. Elisa, Emma, thank you so much. It was great getting to know you. I hope we'll have another chance to discuss sweets and fashion again someday. Thank you again for the wonderful tea recipe. It may take me a while, but I hope that one day I'll be able to make it as warm and aromatic as you do. <laughs> I know you'll be able to do it. <laughs> I suppose it's been quite the experience for them. Indeed it has. Still, Sharon's as attractive as ever. But you're quite the bodilicious beauty yourself, Instructor. Oh my, aren't you the charmer? If only you were a little younger, you'd be just my type. Instructor! And Grandfather, at least try to be serious at once. Sorry, sorry, can't help myself sometimes. Anyway, to be serious for a moment here, it would seem you've made a discovery of your own. Yes. I think I finally understand why you left the Rainford Company when you did. That's so. You've been with me ever since I was a child. Though I think I know you as well as anyone, how much- I think I know as well as anyone how much you've given to the company. But because of that, it was even harder for me to understand why you would just turn your back and let Mother take over. But now, I think I finally understand. You left the company because you truly loved the Rainford Company, didn't you? Precisely. Since the Orbital Revolution, the Rainford Company has created the technology as has created the technology that has defined people's modern lives. From railways to heating, mobile cars to airships, even tanks and guns. Not uh, great, none of them. What I did regret, however, were those railway guns we built five years ago. I thought so. 
With my apologies to the Lieutenant General, of course, these railway guns are a little more instru than instruments of mass murder. With their innate limits and range and deployment, they have no strategic value in a war. Their sole purpose is a weapon of mass destruction designed to effectively hold the innocent people of Crossbell hostage. In other words, to stop a potential Republican army invasion before it starts. Nothing more, nothing less. It is an unpleasant truth to acknowledge, but I have no rebuttal. My daughter may have signed off on the project, but as the one who saw them completed, I was terrified of what we'd made. I feared that somewhere along the way we had sold our principles and our souls as craftsmen to the highest bidders. When my daughter took over his my, take over his company chair, I took the opportunity to step back from Reinford and really think about where, where we'd gone wrong, about how we'd come to this point, and how to make things right. So that was why. I guess you probably don't have any intention of returning soon. I'm afraid not. All that's happened in the past five years has only strengthened my resolve. The company's environment, my daughter's leadership of it, things haven't things have changed too much. For now, I'll just let her take care of things from the inside. As for me, I'll do what I can from the outside to help the company find its way forward. Hmm. Master Gwen. <laughs> I think Thor's Military Academy is a fine place for you to be right now. Huh? Now that there are still many obstacles lying ahead of you. But when you put your head together with such a diverse group, you're bound to see things that you might not have otherwise. Just like you did when you were here. You may be right. I'll do what I can to try and see things from a different perspective than both of you and Mother. Both as a member of the Rainford family, and more importantly, because I owe it to myself. Gravity either. Green, Gaius, Eustace and Emma. You'll take good care of her for, for me now, won't you? Of course. <laughs> Leave it to us. We'd be happy to. Very well. Grandfather, stop that. I'd love it if Sharon could stay here with me a bit longer, though. I don't suppose I could tempt you to look after me for a while instead, could I? <laughs> I'm afraid not. I have to return to my duties as class 7's caretaker. Ah, my poor heart! Grandfather, please! <laughs> it's almost time for the train to depart. You should be making your way over to the platform. Thank you. Take care, Lieutenant General. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Ah. May the winds and the goddess always guide your path. Farewell. I look forward to meeting you again someday. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you all for everything. Come on. Drinks are on me someday. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Good showing, everyone. I'm telling you, there's a way to get higher than a bloody bee. Uh, I don't remember what it, it's to do side quests that they don't give you specifically. In order to do so, I don't remember where they are.